Hello, I'm Alex and I run the Creation Station in Seven Oaks and the South London area. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use some old books that might otherwise get thrown away to turn into a really effective household decoration. Coming close to having done enough of these now. Somewhere round about 90 to 120. A lot will depend on the size of the book and how loose or how tight you want your tree to be. Looser ones, these pages will open out and hold it more. The tighter ones will be more closed. So we'll just do a few more here and then I'll show you how to finish it off. And the good thing about this is you don't have to do it in all in one go. So if your arms have started aching or your fingers need a rest, it's so simple, you're not going to lose where you were. You can come back to this again later. It's not like you've got to measure and count and follow a pattern. This is so easy because every page is the same. So there wouldn't be anything wrong with you going off and having a cup of tea, watching a television programme and coming back to it tomorrow even. So it's nice that it doesn't have to be completed in one go. So I think that's that's the start of a new chapter. We'll just, just do one more so that the chapter page with its heading isn't the last one that shows. Oh my goodness, we've got another chapter immediately afterwards. That was a short chapter, two pages. So we don't really want to have it with that chapter name as the last thing we see. So let's leave it there. So you'll see, it's now looking very tight. If you look at the, the top, you can see it's making this lovely curve. And if you look at the bottom, again, it's getting ready to fold round to become a tree. So the next thing we've got to do is to remove the excess pages. And I would say start, probably start at the back on this one. And you can just tear them out depending how tatty and how old your book is they might come out more easily so I'm just going to tear all those pages out doesn't matter if the pages get torn although if you want to use them for another type of craft you probably don't want to tear them in half so this is a little bit of a fiddly one just getting all these pages out Just nearly at the end there, taking these pages out. They get a bit easier as you go further through because you're down to just this gluey bit on the spine. Although we're getting closer to the other pages, we need to be a little bit more careful now because we don't want to take out any of the pages we've just very carefully folded. So there we are, that's the last couple there. Let's just get rid of those. 
Now you've got the book cover, which as you can see, doesn't look too attractive. So we just need to remove the book cover, but leave the spine a little bit if we can to give it some strength. So you can either use scissors for this and just cut your cover off. Just get in there. Just want to make sure I'm not cutting the pages that I've carefully folded. So you can do it with scissors and you'll find all these little bits now, loose bits coming out. So let's just get rid of those. Some of those were attached to the cover. That's it. And then we're going to do the same with the other end. So if you haven't got scissors that work, or if you'd rather, you can use the blade of a craft knife. It's just as easy to use scissors. So let's just take the other cover out. And again, being very, very careful not to cut off part of the pages that we so carefully folded. Let's just sweep all those bits out of the way. And you can now see that we've got a spine in the middle. You might want to trim this. Once you fold it, you'll see which bit needs to trim. So this bit at the top, we don't really want to see that bit of cover up here. So we just want to tidy that up and trim that back down a little bit more. and maybe just angle that last piece there. Now this might be something that you do need a friend to help you with. Again, if your hands aren't working quite as well as you would like them to, you might have a friend or one of your lovely members of staff who can help you just do this last bit because this is a little bit stiff there we are and just take those bits off so that we've got it there angled so that it doesn't show because to make the tree as you can see all we're going to do then is just fold our book round and if you just sort of flick through the pages like that like you were doing a fanning pack of cards that just loosens it all up so we're taking it round and where we had our front of our book and our back of our book, we're going to put some glue or I prefer to use a bit of double sided sellotape on this one because it's less messy and it is slightly more permanent. And I'm just going to put a band of that down the edge of the book there. If you've not used a double sided tape before, once you have used it, you will be a convert. So we've got it on there. And the nice thing about double-sided tape is it's sticky both sides, as the name would suggest. You just lift that backing paper off and peel it away. And you've now got sticky both sides. So it's stuck to the book. And then I can just stick that to that other page which has now made my tree a complete conical shape. Now, I said earlier that some of these little bottom folds might open up. So as you're playing with it and getting that shape better, they might loosen slightly and they will then fold, unfold and give a little bit of structure. So as they start to unfold a little bit like this, they're just going to give a little bit of structure to the way your pages open out. So you can see now that's looking very much like a Christmas tree. Now you can then do some decoration. I'm just going to sweep these bits away. I'm just gonna lie it down so it looks like a tree and show you this bit with it lying flat rather than with it standing. Obviously when you're doing it, you'll stand it up 
but the camera won't show that bit at the moment. So on the top of your tree, you might want to put a nice sequin star. I've got these lovely big sequin stars. So again, you could use a little piece of double-sided tape on the back of your sequin star and peel the backing off that. A little bit more fiddly because it's obviously a lot smaller. There we are, there's the backing off. And then we've just got little sticky bits there. So I'm just going to turn those corners in. And the lovely thing about it sticks to itself. And then I can stick that in place for the star at the top of my tree. So lovely glinting star. You might want to decorate it with things like Lurex thread, which you could drape around it and fix in place to make it look like rows of tinsel. You might want to use some lovely sticky gems like these. I think big is better on this, nice and big and bold, because these will then look like baubles. And again, if you put a little piece of double-sided tape on the back of one of these, and again, find the end, peel the end off. There we are, that's the, the paper coming off the back. And then just tuck those extra bits of sticky onto themselves. You can then stick those on to look like baubles. You can put those all round your tree. And then the lovely thing after that is to make it look like it's in a pot, you can take a beaker or a glass or something like that and stand it on the top of that. And then that looks like a tree standing 